One more question. So as a point of fact, I just wish to point out there are both statues of Moses and Muhammad in Washington, D.C., right above the columns on the U.S. Um, Supreme Court's um, building. So yes, we do have actually Moses in Washington, D.C. But my actual question is we lost Nelson Mandela this year, very sadly. And I think we'd all agree we're against apartheid. I would like now. you, yes, but I would like you to speak to the fact that we support Israel with massive amounts of military aid, but they actually, in their laws, have codified that the Arabs are second-class citizens and different laws govern the Arab and Jewish populace. Why do we as a government support an apartheid system today and will we look as ridiculous as other governments? David Cameron, for instance, was part of an organization that supported apartheid. Will we look as ridiculous today as he does now? I me to go first. Yeah, the challenge of the state of Israel is that while America was founded as a society of individuals, a minority of one as I say, Israel was founded with a different idea. And that was the idea of having a Jewish state. Okay, so think about that. It was the idea of creating a Jewish state. In a, the Jewish state differs from the modern state in the way that the Old Testament differs from the New. The Old Testament was a single community with a single ideology when Moses came down with the Ten Commandments and he saw Aaron worshipping the golden calf. Aaron didn't say something like, you know, I have a First Amendment right to worship the golden calf. I'm going my own way. Um, the idea of a Jewish state is to have, if you will, but Israel does not have full separation of church and state. It is a Jewish state. All right. Now, you are, it seems to me, attacking the legitimacy of having a Jewish state. Sure. Well, first of all, we have established a constitution and a way of life for us. We also recognize we live in a big world. Okay? And in a big world, we make allies with people, some of whom we agree with 100%, and some of whom we agree with 5%. Why? Because foreign policy is based on the principle of the lesser evil. And you sometimes ally even with the bad guy to get rid of the worst guy. And if you forget that lesson, then you do things like yank the Persian rug out from the Shah of Iran, our ally, and you get 40 years of Khomeini. And you get a, a country that is basically causing non-stop trouble in the Middle East, trying to build nuclear bombs. All of this is the legacy of one sanctimonious Jimmy Carter, who said, I want nothing to do with the Shah of Iran. He's a dictator. He has a secret police. And whoops, we get Khomeini from the frying pan into the fire. 